Hey, this is Lariano Andrade Vicente. I'm part of the MD class of 2021. And this is a very short and brief sketch on Borreliosis recurrentis, the causal agent of recurring or relapsing fever. You may be more familiar with the Borreliosis burgdorferi, which is the causal agent of Lyme disease. Well, this is a lesser known bug, but I think quite the interesting bug. And while pretty low yield for step one, may come up. So Borreliosis recurrentis is represented here as this bore for Borreliosis and recurring hills for recurrentis. And the name actually tells you a lot about what's going on with the disease and the, the pathology, the pathophysiology of it. Uh, it causes, again, epidemic or louse-borne relapsing fever. The only known vector is the body louse, that is pedic pediculus humanus, and the only reservoir is humans. That's represented here by this uh, pediculus humanus bug, which is an actual representation of it. Um, it's quite rare in the U.S., uh, but more common in North and East Africa. And so we are representing now a silhouette of the Reichiem sustain um, to represent the darker skin tones that are apparent in North and East Africa typically. And the Reichiem for the fact that you can see spherocates on a Reichiem sustain. And this is, in fact, the spherocate, which also can be represented by the squiggly line of the hills here. So the people who get this are people who get body lice. Now remember, these are called body lice, but they really actually like to live out the scalp and the hair. That's where you'll typically find the lice for um, the body louse. Louse, uh, singular, uh, lice, plural. People who get this are people who live in close quarters. So people like homeless people that live in overpopulated shelters, the people who live out on the streets. Uh, people who, who work in um, or live in uh, close quarters like uh, army folks, military folks. And let me just stress that the typical presentation, if you're going to get it at all in the U.S., is going to be a migrant from an endemic area such as North or East Africa who's been living on the streets or perhaps was treated in the past for lice but actually was not treated for the Borrelia recurrentis infection. The incubation period is about 2.5 weeks and a patient will ultimately develop one week approximately of abrupt onset of fevers, chills, often accompanied by malaise, arthralgias, and myalgias. They may develop purpura and become thrombocytopenic and then exemplify that purpura and non purpuric rashes as well as nausea, vomiting, and jaundice may also occur. Then after that initial one week episode, they'll, they will recur, they have episodes that recur every five to 10 days, each one being shorter and less severe. That's why each one of these hills are shorter and less severe. The most common sign of this, not symptom, but sign is hepatic tenderness to palpation. Um, and they have this transaminitis on their lab findings and 40% can have meningeal signs such as um, uh, tender to the palpation of the neck and um, a decrease of rather pain with neck flexion, Koenig Brodzinski signs. Some may even develop myocarditis, which is the cause of fatality. You'll notice I'm not representing this on any of this because this is a very low yield bug and it's kind of relatively easy to remember that basically you have this kind of Lyme like symptom, the Lyme prodrome, um, and then you have these intense rashes and then the transaminitis. The diagnosis is right gam sustain a peripheral blood smear or you can do PCR. And the treatment is doxy, same thing uh, for the treatment of Lyme disease. Um, but you also have to take care of the lice. So obviously you need to curtail any exposure to lice. So if they're living in a place with a lot of lice, they need to then, of course, um, uh, eradicate those lice there. You can eradicate the lice on the body with pyrethroids, such as a permethrin cream, the same treatment for scabies. Um, or ivermectin. So you'd give them doxy and you'd give them either per permethrin cream or ivermectin. The mortality rate uh, is 2% with treatment, um, but it is much, much higher uh, without treatment. And these treatments are represented within this image, the doxycycline unicycle uh, for doxycycline. The uh, spray can here that is running towards the body louse for the pyrosaurids which often come in spray cans, but also can come in cream, permethrin cream, or ivermectin, 
which is the no dumping river sign for Ivermectin, Rivermectin. And that is Borella recurrentis.